It's the month of November, so here at the Orian Society, we've started our annual Eastern Indigo Snake Monitoring. And we've partnered with Georgia DNR to monitor close to 60 sites throughout South Georgia for the presence of indigo snakes. And on these surveys, we focus mainly on uh, surveying around gopher tortoise burrows and good gopher tortoise habitat um, because those burrows serve as vital habitat during the winter for indigo snakes. Um, so we'll go from burrow to burrow on a survey looking for snakes and also any signs of snakes, um, including sheds and tracks left in the apron. And both of those can really help us pinpoint to where indigo snakes are uh, and help us get indigo snakes in hand. And once they're in hand, we mark them individually with a pit tag. We take uh, weight and length data and all that goes into our long-term marker capture data set. So this month I'm going to take you guys out on a couple surveys and uh, hopefully give you guys an idea of what it's like to survey for eastern indigo snakes in South Georgia. I'm out here in this nice sand hill habitat walking from tortoise burrow to tortoise burrow and I'm looking for snakes and any sign of snake activity. So coming up to the first burrow don't see a snake. I don't see any sort of snake tracks on the apron coming in and out of the burrow. Uh, nothing up here on the apron. And I don't see any shed skins in the surrounding vegetation. Often if you find shed skins, they're going to be in the grass or the shrubs around tortoise burrows. Not always, but usually they're pretty close to the burrows. I don't see any of that here. So I go on to the next burrow. get up to this first burrow, do the same thing, scan for snakes, uh, scan for any sorts of tracks, and also shed skins. Let's see any tracks in there, definitely none on the apron, and no shed skins. So this is just basically the routine that we do on all of our indigo surveys. We walk from burrow to burrow and uh, just scan for snakes and snake signs. So Jonathan and I came up on this gopher tortoise burrow just a couple minutes ago and we came to the apron we noticed a few things. You see right here very faint track made by a snake. As we come up to the mouth of the burrow you can see right here right in front um, that is a berm made by an exiting snake uh, as it kind of pulls its way up the incline of the burrow mouth. You look further back, there's a few more. So these are what we call exit tracks. And it's one of the things we really look for when we go burrow to burrow. So this told us that a snake had come out of this burrow pretty recently. So we came up here in the surrounding habitat to look around real close and within Less than a minute, this is what Jonathan found. A six and a half foot male eastern indigo snake. Cool stuff. Okay, so we finished processing this indigo snake, finished taking swabs, so it's time to release. We usually put them right back at a burrow so they can take shelter and move on at their own pace. So Jonathan and I are out on a yet another indigo snake survey. Uh, we're on some private property that a, a private landowner has given us permission to survey on. In one of our first burrows of the day we come up on and there's this nice fresh snake track coming out of the mouth of the burrow and up into the grass and not seven feet away basking right here in the grass was this beautiful small male eastern indigo snake uh, right here he's in a shed cycle but he's looking good health um, very good start to the day and then we go just over here not 20 feet away this other burrow mouth Jonathan found this shed skin so we're definitely in some good indigo habitat there are definitely snakes out on the ground 
Um, they're out on the surface right now, so we're going to keep going. Hopefully we'll find some more. So it's turning out to be a pretty eventful day so far. We're only 20, 30 minutes into surveying, and uh, Jonathan came across another big exit track uh, coming out of the mouth of this burrow. You can see where it's smooth. They're a pretty good-sized snake. Um, we ha he actually follow it a good ways down this road um, before it disappears into the grass but uh pretty fresh we know we're on to another snake and i just found another small indigo probably a yearling just over there on another apron so that's a sign of at least that's two snakes and sign of a third in the first half hour so it's turning out to be a pretty good day so we'll keep going so our good luck continues uh we moved on to another little section of property on the on the same same site, uh, another section of burrows, and uh, sure enough, this gorgeous female indigo snake was sitting right here um, off the back of this uh, small tortoise burrow, and uh, she was very active. It's warming up, and she was about to slip into the burrow before. Um, but we grabbed her before she could, so that's three snakes on the day. Uh, we're gonna keep going. Got a lot of burrows yet to check. All right. All right, so we've processed all three indigos, and uh, all we have to do is let them go now. <laughs> 